And fires like those two remind us we often take for granted the job firefighters do. But today, dozens of people from various backgrounds got some hands-on training in what it takes to be a Portland firefighter, including Channel 2's Natasha Smith. First up, getting properly outfitted with gear and safety devices. It's called a pass device right here. Okay, that's so if you go down, we'll know where you're at. And participants quickly found out what it's like to wear 65 pounds of equipment while battling controlled fires. Well, it was a little bit surprising. In the burn room, uh, I've uh, never been claustrophobic before, uh, but having both the darkness and the heat uh, was very disorienting. It was uh, almost too much. The aerial ladder wasn't much easier, despite reassurances. We'll put you in uh, a safety harness and have a line on you for extra safety, and we'll have somebody that's going up behind you as well. Firefighters make the nearly vertical 100-foot climb without a harness. Even with safety gear, it was daunting. This is a really cool sight, but I never want to see it again. <laughs> the ropes exercise from an upper floor of a training tower had lots of people happy to get their feet back on the ground, including our photographer, Tom Augusti, who flipped over this part of the story. Here's how Tom's tumble looked from his point of view. Like any good photographer, he protected his camera, and we got him down safely. Despite the intensity of the flames and the hands-on experience, this day represents just a fraction of what firefighting trainees face. They'll deal with a year of training before they're sworn in as full-fledged firefighters. It's a tough job. Of 1,500 people who tried to become Portland firefighters this year, only 32 made the cut. It was a lot of fun out there, but there's definitely a lot more than what you saw to being a fighter, fi firefighter. It's a very tough job, and in just a few hours, it was easy to see why only the best recruits make the cut out there. And I thought I was in pretty good shape, but walking around with all that equipment, I was sweating like a fat man in a food fight out there. It was <laughs> tough. <laughs> no, no, it fight. was hard. Yeah. Well, I can also I'm sorry, Paul. I, well, I was going to say, they put their lives on the line. Yeah. Absolutely, every day. And I can also see why I wouldn't be a good photographer. I wouldn't <laughs> drop that camera. Right. Like that. <laughs> Natasha, thank you. Sure. Thanks, Very Natasha. Good job. <laughs>